Hello, David Moore, Equity Advantage, and we're going to talk a little bit about combining transactions. In the Equity Advantage uh, lingo, we sort of call them blended transaction, uh, but an example of which could be a, a situation where we're combining a delayed exchange and a reverse exchange. And quite often what will happen is somebody will have a project, a property that they want to acquire before they've sold anything. And what will happen is if they've got the financial ability to go buy that property predisposition of another one, we can do a reverse exchange. So as I said, it's going to require our client's ability to make that transaction happen. We don't loan money, but uh, we'll create that reverse exchange uh, with whatever's my, whatever funds are available for that purchase, and we're going to do it as a reverse exchange. And then we're going to have 180 days from that date to actually convey that replacement property to the taxpayer if we're talking about, let's say, a warehouse reverse exchange. I apologize, I'm not going to get into details of, of reverse exchange. We just don't have time. Uh, you can check out. We've got several videos on that topic and uh, take a look at those if you've got more questions on reverse. But let's say we're doing a warehouse uh, replacement reverse exchange. So what's happening in that transaction is you're gonna loan us some money, we buy the property with our exchange accommodation title holder entity, just a fancy acronym for a single member limited liability company that we're the member of. And we basically have a debt to you for whatever that down payment was. So we've taken ownership of the property. And when your property sells, we're actually going to convey that new property, that replacement that we've warehoused back to you completing that transaction. So we've at that point completed the reverse uh, portion of that transaction. Let's say that we only buried a portion of your funds. Now we've got excess funds from that sale and we are going to carry them forward via delayed exchange. So once again, our warehousing the replacement property means you haven't relinquished the relinquished property until you do. So we've got 180 days from the date of acquisition via the reverse, and we're gonna have 180 days from the date of disposition of your relinquished property to complete the balance of any acquisition properties. And when everything's said and done, you're looking at the aggregate value of what was acquired via the reverse, and via the delayed exchange. And as long as we're going across or up in value and equity between those, those different uh, transactions, we're gonna to be totally tax deferred. I hope that has helped a little bit on what we would call a blended transaction or as far as giving you an example of combining transactions, a reverse and a delayed exchange into one transaction. Once again, David Moore, Equity Advantage, 1031exchange.com. Thank you.